temperature here is uh, a pleasant 72 degrees. There's a nice breeze. I have to say though that the word has not gotten out that Schultz Pass Road has been repaired so that there's very few uh, folks up here on a bike. I've seen only one cyclist. It used to be the most popular weekend uh, bike route to get to Lockett Meadow. It's about eight or nine miles. Unfortunately, that's now through burned area before reaching the aspens up above Lockett Meadow that were uh, saved by the firefighters. But to get there is a pretty hot, dusty, and dry road. Here we're coming up on these the uh, areas where the ravines have been washed out by the subsequent floods. And so you see how they've repaired them. There's Little Eldon. That area had uh, also been burned. Down below you see Schultz Pass Road and uh, looking back to the east. So we have uh, quite a ways to go before this area um, even begins to be reclaimed. A lot of these snags will remain standing for probably a few more years before falling and um, perhaps returning some organic material to the soil. Well now, here we are in Weatherford Canyon. This is a side canyon to the uh, Arizona Trail. I'm sorry, to the Weatherford Trail. Coming off of Schultz Pass Road. It uh, had backburns to save it by the firefighters. These are the dog hair aspen that came up, I believe, in the severe winter of 67, 68. So they'd be about maybe 40 years old. They, uh, the regular trail, which has been popular with horsemen and hikers, was um, crosshatched by the firefighters after they saved this grove so that you wouldn't have erosion coming off the, the flanks up on Schultz Peak. Further into the grove, you can see where that's washed through the base of these aspen, almost an ash and a sludge that's washed out the, the grass, but the grove, in, for the most part, is intact. You can see where they also did some back burns around the really big ponderosas. But this may be the densest patch of dog hair aspen that I know of in the peak, at least it's accessible, and probably the largest. Up at the top, there's a spring that used to feed some of the ranchers up here. Lots of terracotta pipe are still there. Today, this is uh, Saturday, June 7th, I uh, have only met one hiker coming up from Schultz Pass. It's around almost noon. The road has just been fixed, so it's a little nicer. And uh, this is just a beautiful, beautiful spot. 